guys, welcome back to the channel. Some serious material here. I'm Mike, your host, and I'm just gonna probably try to do a brief video on my new attachment to my attachment. And hopefully you enjoy that. It's been so dry here that I haven't been able to do a whole lot as far as moving through brush at the risk of fire, and now it's been really wet here. So at the risk of getting stuck and making a muddy mess. So I'm hoping that we'll get some, some clear weather kind of in between so I can get some stuff done. But anyway, I want to show you what I got. And I think we have a dry morning here anyway. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. So after the tractor warms up, we'll get out home. guys so check this out I just put it on and we're gonna go try it out I'm not gonna be doing anything too crazy but there's one pile or I should say mound in the field the hay field that drove me crazy for three years and I knew that if I took this kind of blunt edge down there with the tractor especially when the ground was hard that I'd be pushing and fighting it from what I've seen this is going to make all the difference let's see what it does You guys are probably already going to start laughing because this isn't much of a mound particularly on camera it doesn't look very big but i can tell you honestly that it's been bugging me since we've been at the property since we've been hay in this field and you can see the gates here next to me every time you open the gate you have this mound here also you can see that i came through with the uh mower and mowed a little closer to the fence than the hay guy got but we always have had this little mound here. There might be something crazy in here, like a bunch of rocks. I don't really know. But my idea today is I was anxious to do a short little video, at least to start with, on my bucket blade. And so that's what this is about. I want to see how it tears into this thing and see what we do. So let's get after it.
Hey, we got it dirty. Uh, kind of what I suspected, and I may have mentioned in the beginning, is that there are some rocks in this pile. So I suspect that maybe when they were cleaning the field out, that they pushed a lot of the mixed rocks and dirt down in this area. This blade does not have any issues with getting into that rock. And I know there's guys a lot more experienced and a lot quicker uh, doing this. I'm not in a hurry to do it, so it's kind of taking my time. So I'm going to keep going after this and digging through it. A couple tips that I've learned just from trial and error and from watching other folks is, you know, once the this, this soil, the field, the road, everything starts getting wet, if you can keep your wheels turning, turning this way, when you're turning this way, you have uh, less issues with ripping up the ground. So I've kind of learned that uh, slowly. Let's get back to it. All right, guys, so we made some uh, significant project blah, 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 progress with uh, this mole, this hill. I want to say mole hill because I've been fighting moles, but hill. And uh, yeah, I want to say probably it's probably about two to three yards. I don't know. That's kind of my estimation based on the loads of gravel I've hauled over the years. But in any case, I'm pretty much down to where I want to be. I'm just going to try to use the back. I'm going to use the box blade to try to level this out. I'm gonna have to pick out some of these big rocks and toss them into the blackberries here where uh, the water runs through for each of the ponds on the hill here. But um, I'll end up doing that by hand. But I think I'm gonna use the box blade and just kinda try to level this out. So that's the next step.
All right, I don't think that went too bad. Actually got it fairly smooth. I'm gonna go through with the rake and pull these rocks out. And uh, I think we're gonna be good and the hill is gone. And I'm super happy about that. I think the grass will come back in and it'll all be good. So anyway, I'm really liking this uh, blade on the new, or on the bucket, the new blade on the old bucket. And I'm really looking forward to pulling out some small trees and brush and blackberries. I mean, that's really what I got it for. But I, in researching it, I saw how successful it was at digging through rocks and dirt. Um, less of a fight than your standard bucket. So I want to give that a shot uh, for this short little video. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it and it was interesting and helpful. I appreciate you tuning in and we will talk to you soon. Take care.